That's, that's available to all members. Question number 11, Melissa Lee. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social Development and asks, how is the government's Social Workers in Hospitals initiative making a difference for vulnerable children? Uh, Honourable Paula Bennett. The Social Workers in Hospital initiative was introduced by National in 2009. We now have a child, youth and family social worker based in every DHB in the country. When hospitals admit children and staff have car and, uh, care and protection concerns, the social worker engages with the family and hospital staff. In the last six months of 2012, 7,386 consultations took place about families they were worried about. And as a result, 1,059 reports of concern were made to child, youth and family. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Melissa Supplementary Lee. question to the Minister. What feedback has she received about frontline staff working together to better protect vulnerable children? Honourable Paula Bennett. Health professionals shows there is a growing confidence about how they can report concerns and child youth and family social workers are a welcome part of the team. Uh, last week I visited Palmerston North Hospital and met with one of our social workers and with health professionals there. You could see and it was really evident in the relationships they have together, the fact that they can get in earlier when that concern is there, make a difference, get the right support in place so that they, in many cases very young baby is safe when they go home. Supplementary. supplementary question, Melissa Lee. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question to the Minister. What lessons can we learn from this initiative to support the work of the Government's Children's Action Plan? Um, Honourable Paula Speaker. Bennett. Thank you. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Children's Action Plan, which is part of the White Paper on Vulnerable Children, is clearly focused on frontline staff, frontline people, how we get them together much better coordination earlier in the lives of the children that need our support and help. And um, that's why the government has also told the chief executives and their equivalents of social development, health, education, justice, police, um, housing and TPK that they must work together to have a coordinated response to these vulnerable children that so desperately need them. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary to the minister. What is the caseload? for her social workers in hospitals, and does she believe that this number represents a fair workload for these social workers? Honourable uh, Paula Mr. Bennett. Mr Speaker, um, it's different with different DHBs because it depends on how big uh, it is with the, um, with the child, youth and family workers that they have uh, recently. They don't work long term with families though, they're very much about getting the support longer term. They might refer to an NGO or, as I said, on to child, youth and family and get them better attached there if they have to. Question number 12, Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question